Welcome back to the Enter Record Channel. I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show and I'm about to go take a peek inside the first solar powered car from Aptera. It looks pretty amazing from here. Let's go take a peek. Decent size display here, yoke style controller, no rear view mirror because you can't see. This is a display here, so you can kind of see what's going on behind you. This is honestly more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Not a full glove box, just kind of a zip box thing. That sort of makes sense to me. A couple of cup holders. You've got your basic niceties. It is not a tall car. I'm not a tall person, I'm like 5'10ish, 5'9ish, and I just have head clearance and I had to kind of lean down to get in, but overall it's comfortable. You kind of lean back, you've got good sight lines. I bet this thing is a joy to drive. You know, you're kind of crammed in, but that's kind of the expectation. It's absolutely beautiful. So obviously I only got to spend a few minutes with the Aptera, but this is the production intent vehicle, which means this is what they'll release barring some very minor changes. There's obviously some niceties missing. You kind of have to lay flat into it. There's no true glove box. Instead, it's more of a bag you unzip, but it felt like so much fun when you were in it, despite being a little cramped. You could tell you could really get around town. It probably is a joy to drive. They'll release this as a sort of motorcycle or auto cycle class vehicle, and that's fine. It's not meant to be your everyday primary vehicle. This is your secondary vehicle to get to the grocery store or get have a fun little trip that you just don't have to plug in all that often if you've got decent solar in your area, decent sunlight in your area. It does have access to be plugged in when you don't have enough sunlight and works off the Tesla Super Network, so perfect. I really want to drive it. It looks really awesome. Until next time, bye.